What? What's today? Um. I'm crying. Why? What's wrong? <laughs> because this doesn't feel good. And I don't want to talk about it right now. Hmm? And I don't want to talk about it right now. Okay, then stop. So after I tried doing that video, I threw up because I was crying too hard. And then he just went downstairs. I just don't know. And I'm coughing, throwing up, wheezing. It just, it just sucks. Today I was like, I'm gonna go and do the bed sheets because it felt a little better. I couldn't even make it down flights of steps without gasping for air. I couldn't even walk up the steps without like <coughs> grabbing my inhaler. My skin is hot, but it doesn't feel too hot. It feels like mild. I even tried walking to this place to get food because we don't have any food here right now because both of us are supposed to be leaving in September. I couldn't even walk 0.3 miles without getting out of breath and feeling like I was going to drop. And I'm just thinking to myself like I used to walk everywhere. I used to live on the third floor. I used to go up and down no problem. And I get it, like, yeah, I'm 20 pounds heavier. But what? I'm just like, when I was walking, I was like getting teary eyed because I'm just like, I know I have to take care of my body more, and I have been. Man, he's coming back up. I stopped eating meat. I haven't ate meat since, what was it? Wednesday my mom made soup I love you I love you too even with your cough mm. my mom made this kale soup it was good she didn't put milk in it she put coconut milk I told her no chicken because I'm not trying to have any meat tomorrow she's off and depending on how I feel, I might go to Boston in case I have her bring me to the hospital. My friend Jenny's getting married on. She's getting married today, her African one, but she's also getting married on Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to that. supposed to be going to India. I don't know if we'll be going to that. It's just like I'm not fearful but I just have to be smart. It's not worth it going and not even be able to run when I was walking to the place where I bought food from thought to myself like if I had to run for my life I couldn't even run because I would have it like I would have an asthma attack and I know I know like when I start working out because when I was working out I had more breathing control but it's like imagine going to India And not say that we'd be in a situation where we have to run, 
but if we were what would happen to me you know I could easily pass out if my inhaler doesn't kick in and today I use my inhaler way too much like I took it maybe like 10 or 20 minutes before that first video and you see it's still wheezing I know I'm not going to be here this time next year. <coughs> I'm not even going to be here next month. Or next week. But I'm going to try it too figure out what God's trying to tell me in this time. I haven't been able to go to work. I haven't even been able to focus on work. I go on Instagram and I turn it off because it's like I can't even scroll. <coughs> it's too much. But I'm going to cut it off because I feel like I might throw up again. So this was called the Chop Mahal. What was it called? Charmel. Charmin. Charmel. Charmina. 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 And then Wanda Street. I mean the homies. Being a well for us as young women to draw from. I think you want us to learn how to make our own products. We want to learn how to make our own products. Thank you, thank you so much. We can do that. Wonderful. Hello, angel, or hello, world. Wherever I decide to put this video. As I was getting ready to go walk out and get my lunch, I had a moment where I was just like, wow. I'm so grateful for God and who he is in my life because this time last year I was really battling with my health and I couldn't breathe. I remember I couldn't walk down my steps without being severely winded, gasping for air. I couldn't go up my steps without being severely winded, gasping for air. And I remember there was a day I left my house because not being able to just be at peace like literally me walking doing a video like this last year was not possible i was not able to walk and talk and keep a good pace you know what i mean i literally would be walking like this gasping for air reaching for my emergency inhaler you know taking the puffs the puffs not working and i remember literally last year i was walking and i kept thinking to myself you know in my mind I conversate with God and I'm like how could I even be pregnant like I'm like what is going on with my health it's not like I had a crazy diet it's not like I you know what I mean ate things that was crazy um, but I just kept thinking to myself like I cannot get pregnant with this body like me not being able to breathe and just as I am and just thinking of being pregnant like that scared me because it made me afraid for you know not afraid but like just like whoa i can't put my baby through that like i can't be a pregnant mom that can't even walk like like 10 steps without needing her inhaler like severely to the point where the inhaler wasn't working you know so as i'm making this video and i'm walking to go pick up my lunch i'm just like god i'm so grateful for you i'm grateful that you healed my body I, i'm grateful that my health is in your hands and I'm not pregnant right now, but when I am pregnant, I'm still going to be celebrating God because of his mir like his miracles and his love for me. Like he didn't have to heal me. He didn't have to, you know what I mean, allow my health to be restored. He didn't have to. You know what I mean? I learned a lot from being, you know, in that situation. I learned a lot. Like what God was trying to show me was for, as far as my health and what I should be eating and how I should be taking care of my body. You know what I mean? I took all of that as like God is trying to show me something. And so 
I'm almost to my um, destination. So I'm just here to give you guys hope. Like I know I have another video of when I had like a little mini attack in my at my office and nobody was on the same floor as me and I'm pretty sure it was only me and the maintenance worker that was there but when I tell you God will take your life and shift it all the way around like when I first developed that thing because I didn't develop it it was never mine when the enemy attacked me in my health that way I never understood why I never understood why and I remember just thinking to myself like God you know I'm still gonna give you glory I'm still gonna believe you I'm still gonna trust you and then, lo and behold, he took care of me the whole time.